us. God's going through these trials and these tests after stripping us. But finally, brothers and sisters, James says that when we understand God's big picture, then we are able to rejoice. Watch this. Not with a weak and sincere praise the Lord, but, but a sense of gladness running up from deep within us. We, we can lift up our hands and, and bless God because we understand that he has worked it out in us and for us. And that's what brings us to our text. And that's why I've been trying to get to all night. I've been trying to get to my text all night. Because here in the text, in this, in this psalm of Thanksgiving, or, or rather this Torah psalm, David says something extremely profound in verse number one. Notice what he says. Notice what he says. I would call you. Notice what he says. Something in Bishop Ellis, he says, he says, I will extol thee. Mm. Uh, this phrase, this phrase, I will, this phrase, this phrase, I will, this, this phrase, I will, it means, and the Hebrew wants this, it means to think, it means to meditate deeply, and then to resolve. <laughs> uh, that's good, I gotta say that one more time for me. He says, when he says, I will, I will means, in the Hebrew, to think, it means to meditate deeply, and then to resolve. The phrase speaks of an agreement and unification of the inward man. Working in harmony with the outward man. The phrase I will speaks conclusively and harmoniously about the totality of the inner man. It speaks to the union of the heart, the mind, the spirit, and the physical frame. I will is a phrase that speaks about all of me. But you see, I may, I might, I should. It leaves a possibility for doubt and speculation to stick in. But, but I will slams the door emphatically with a kind of dogmatic emphasis. I will say this, that I thought about it, but I've come to full resolve. And now I have no reservation, hesitation, or procrastination about the matter. I will is a phrase that speaks about our feelings, our focus, our faith, and it shakes hands at the table of collaboration of mutual and agreement. And so David says that I am rock solid, and I am fully resolved to extol thee. Notice, though, if you will, that the word extol, I'm just trying to walk through the text. The word extol means in the Hebrew to raise or to lift up or to make a loud noise. David says that when I have meditated on who God was and is in my life, I've resolved to lift up and to bless his name. And that's why all of us should be beloved brothers and sisters. All of us should be in a place that after we have thought about it, after we have weighed and pondered the matter in deep meditation, we should conclude that from the rising of the sun, thank you, until the going down of the same, that our God is worthy to be praised. After we have thought about it, after we have analyzed and even itemized, we should it conclude that he has been better to us than we have been to ourselves. So after our feelings and our focus and our faith have been all factored in, our resolve should be that not only is he an on-time God, but he is an in-time God, and he is a God that always meets me at the point of my need in every situation, circumstance, and dilemma. I wish I had a witness up in here. So we must understand, beloved brothers and sisters, that the psalmist says uh, that I will extol thee. But then he goes on and he gets to deal with why he was going to extol thee. He, he gives reasons uh, for his praise. He, he gives reasons for his lifting up, his magnifying of his God. And, and let's look at it because when we begin to look at the psalmist's reasons, the psalmist says that the reason why he praises God is because of his awareness that God had raised him up. Uh, look at verse number 2 in chapter number 30. Look at verse number 2. For the word of God says something profound in verse number 2 in chapter number 30. That 2 and 3 it says, it says, Oh Lord my God. He says, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. He says, Oh Lord thou has brought up my soul from the grave and thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. The word, the Hebrew word here in this text from brought up is the same word used that means to draw a book it up from a well or a pit. So what the psalmist was saying here, and this is what blessed me, what the psalmist was saying is he was saying the reason why I live God, the reason why I praise God, the reason why I lift him up is because he had lifted 
it in me. Don't miss it. I saw the right passion. He says, the reason why I'm lifting him is because he lifted me. He said, I was trapped and deep in a hole like water in a well, the psalmist says. And then God reached way down and lifted him up out of his crises and condition. And all of us, no matter how wonderful you are, you can sit here and look at me like you're big and deep and spiritual if you want to. But all of us was in a position and in a place where God had to reach way down and pull us up out of some stuff. Y'all looking at me like, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll talk to y'all over here. All of us found ourselves in some conditions and positions where if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side reaching down in some crazy places, we would still be in the position that we're in right now. When we realize that we were in holes with no help and no hope in sight, God pulled us out. We should begin to praise Him with everything that was His, that is within us. Because all of us have some pits that we needed to be delivered from. Y'all looking at me strange. Some of y'all had some financial pits. Some of y'all was in some workplace pits. Some of y'all was in some relationship pits. Some of y'all was in some substance abuse pits. Oh, I'm a princess if it kills me. Some of y'all had self-esteem pits. And then some of y'all had some pits that y'all decided to have a party and invite other people to. You decided to have a pit team party, y'all. Ain't gonna help me in here. And you decided to blame folk and cover ups. But, but you need to understand that no matter how bad your pit was, you don't need to look at me crazy because I was in a pit. Because all of us was in a dark place. All of us was in a jacked up position. But aren't you glad that he didn't leave you in that mess? But even when you couldn't see your own way out because your pit was so deep and so black, he reached down into that muck, into that mire and pulled you out, washed you up, put you on a street call straight. I wonder, is there anybody here other than me that thank God because he's a pit puller? 